I've got so many people asking me about how actually the K factor works and how do I find it for my own materials because there is lots of theory in the internet says this is K factor and this is how you should calculate the flat length but in reality there is not a single video channel that says how do I actually get it using the tools available to me and how do I get it in my press break because if you change the thickness, if you change the V, if you change any small detail into your drawings, K factor is going to be different and that is going to impact a lot in your drawings. See, if uh, you are just folding one or two folds, that's not going to be a big problem. But when those one and two folds combine together for a very large assembly, you are going to be in a lot of trouble because one mil difference is going to add up a lot if you are assembling quite a few parts together. Welcome to my video. Let's dive into how to get a perfect fold for your sheet metal. So remember this uh, like a golden rule. Different thickness of the same material will behave differently under different pressure provided by us to, from the place break. Uh, just to give you an example, let's say we are folding 2 mil miles still, 3 mil miles still and 6 mil miles still in same V, let's say, let's say we are going to fold them in V45. So all those three materials, even though they are all miles still, they will all react differently because they all require different pressure to get folded. They will all have a different K factor and band deductions for all those materials. So the big question is, how do we get a perfect fold every time? So if you follow these four steps and just follow them one by one, you will always get a perfect fold every single time. Hello guys, my name is Nirav and you are watching Metal Cutting and Management. And in today's video, we are going to learn about those four steps that I have discussed earlier. So if you are still here and watching this video, please stay until the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys a cool 50% discount on one of the K factor calculator which I have made in an Excel sheet. So you can easily download that with my discount code, which I will tell you in the end. And you can have that K factor calculator at your place in your company or in front of your computer without going to the websites all the time for finding out how to find a K factor. So step number one for doing a perfect fold is find a correct K factor for your material that is supplied by your supplier. So after finding out the K factor for your press break, make sure that you enter that K factor value or a band deduction value into the CAD software that you guys are using. It doesn't matter whether you are using SolidWorks, you are using SolidEdge or AutoCAD Inventor. All those softwares work on the basics of sheet metal. So they all should give you the same result. Point number three, create a correct flat pattern using whatever software that you guys have just make sure you have a correct flat pattern in front of you step number four step number four is very simple just you have to, all you have to do is follow the drawing and use the proper toolings that is specified as per the drawing if you don't know how to how to select the proper v just check out that video on my description here and that video says how to select a proper V for your praise break. Now let's find how to find a correct K factor for your own praise break. So the step number one for finding a K factor is cut a 200 by 100 strip. Step number two is just put it on a praise break and fold it with 90 degree angle. So step number three would be finding out your internal radius based on the praise break tooling force chart that is provided to you. From so step number four is very simple. Just note down all those details and go to this website that I'm pointing out to and just input all the details that you are getting from the folding. Just make sure you measure everything with your one year caliper so you have a very accurate result for folding. Uh, otherwise you will have a reading mismatch and the K factor that you're looking for would not be very accurate. If you don't want to go to the website that I have mentioned earlier, because going on a website, finding all those things, putting in data is quite uh, time consuming. I have got an amazing, this website or this page where you can actually buy an Excel sheet for just $1. That is a regular retail price. But if you are watching it until now, you can always redeem YT50 
to get a 50% discount in $1 price. So you will actually get it in just 50 cents. If you comment on this video, I will give you more 25% discount. So it will only cost you 25 cents. Oh my God, that's a really good offer. And you can have this Excel sheet already for you. All you have to do is just put in the values for yourself. And remember, I'm only going to give this website scheme for like 25% discount to only first 100 people who comments on this video. So please comment on the video how you like it, you don't like it, what kind of price break you use, what kind of challenges that you are facing in your company or you are facing in your price break and how to fix it. I will try to help you out. Thank you very much for watching guys. And if you have any further questions, please, please, please tell me on a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer you.